What's up people? Welcome back to the channel. New camera, new mic, so bear with me if there's any change in audio or picture or anything like that. But yeah, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Jack from JRC Electrical. Big up yourselves, yeah? If you can do me a favour though, do consider hitting that subscribe button. We want to get to 10k, we are at 6. 6,600, something like that. So if you can press that, that would be massively appreciated. Also leave a like, leave a little comment. Let me know what you think. Say hello. I'll reply to them all. Big up yourselves. In today's video, we've got some outside lighting that we're going to be doing. We're basically just adding a couple of floodlights onto the local community centre. Uh, a couple of floodlights at the back. We've I've already changed an emergency light and a couple of dimmer modules because it was quite busy in there. So I didn't want to record, you know what I mean? And then we've got a little fuse board to change. But I'll show you that as we get going. So but while I'm getting the stuff ready, run that thing. So here is the plan. There's a floodlight there somewhere. Can't really see because the screen's quite small on this. And there's one here. What we're going to be doing is adding one over this window here and that's so that when people are sat on these benches it's lit up at night which is going to be nice and we've also got another one that's going to be going above that far end door over there which is going to flood down onto the area there. So what the plan is each one of these floodlights has got a whisker box so what we're going to be doing is a bit of armoured into the whisker box we're going to be going right the way across down, look how this follows me, meant to anyway, I hope it is. Over there, above that window, we're going to be putting a Hensel box, another floodlight, and then we're going to be going, same again, this way. There's another light over here. I'm just checking that you're following me. Another light over here with another whisker box. Same again, blast it off that way with a bit of armoured into another floodlight. That's the plan. That's what we're going to be doing. So first one that we're going to be doing is this floodlight above the window there is a few obstacles in the way such as this bit of tray work that goes up to the aircon and there's another bit of tray work there so what i'm going to do first get the armor 153 court we're using we're going to be pulling it around the back of this tray work so that we can cleat it to the wood above pull that round get it in place and then we'll go along with the cleats tidy it up and get our boxes on the end right if you're armored comes like this taped together in a coil not on a drum you want to be winding it out not just pulling it off so the end on the floor there and you just want to walk it out the same way that it's been coiled up that's just to get rid of any kinks any loops anything like that so we'll get this walked out and then we can start pulling this behind all the obstacles now that we know it's straight So we'll just get this pushed through. What I'm going to be doing is getting the cleat in the middle of this, in between the two pieces of wood, just to hide it a bit more, make it look nice. So I'll get this pulled round behind this bit of tray work now and behind that one in the corner. And then we'll be ready to cleat it up. So we're through that first one now. There's another one in this corner, which you might be able to see, you might not, but it's right tight up in the corner. So again, I'm just going to pull it round in that little divot there where the two pieces of wood meet. Get it pulled behind. And then, yeah, we can start cleating. Right, now we've got this pulled behind all the obstacles. What we're gonna do is gland it off down here. So I'm not gonna be up the ladder glanding it. I'll put a gland on the end and that way it can feed straight into the Wago box and then we can start cleating it. But if we gland this end first, this is the fixed end. So it's just gonna be easier. Do it down here, get it on, cleat it that way. And then our box can go wherever on the end. So again, we can land it on the floor, get up, screw the box up, done. So you've seen this bit a million and one times. So I'm just gonna run through it quickly. We're gonna score round with the hacksaw right the way through, halfway through the metal. We'll then strip the outer insulation, which is the black bit off, wind it round, get the armor in off, and then strip the inner core, and then get that gland on, get it into the box. Thank you. 
And there we are, one gland on. So that's ready to go into the existing Wago whisker box, sorry. And then we'll get the cleats on right the way down and then get another box on the end. Nice. Right, this is glanded in now, as you can see, flash. Now I've just got to go across the whole wall down to where we want it with the um, cleats. So I'm ready, pocket full of cleats, pocket full of sunshine, pocket full of cleats, pocket full of screws. Let's get them on. A few moments later. Right, that is now cleated and in. You're gonna have to bear with me with this new gimbal because it's quite slow compared to my other one, but we'll get there. Cable is now hanging down there, ready for me to gland off, get into a box. So what I'm gonna do is do it from down here. I'll probably cut it about there, get the gland on, get the Hensel box on, and then we'll come back when I've got it on the wall. So here's my plan with the Hensel box. Obviously I'm glanding into a whisker box on the left hand side. So we'll be carrying the earth onto the armored through this box. So it's got the metal insert. What I've done, took the knockout out there. That's where our gland armored is gonna be coming through. And then I'm just gonna be putting a stuffing gland onto the bottom of there so that we can gland our lights in. Right, again, I do apologize about the noise. Cleated across now and into the Hensel box. So as you can see, we've identified the cores with our sleeve in, so black earth, gray as neutral. We've then got an earth fly lead onto the little liner there, which then carries the earth on through the armory. So that's this one done. I'll show you the lights that we're using and get one of them up here. So again, these are the lights that we're using. If you're new to the channel, you might not have seen these before. So they are Essence floodlights from Laseco Lighting Group. They're really good. I'm gonna open one up now and show you why I like it so much. So the first thing I like about these lights is the mounting plate. So that's gonna get screwed onto the wall and then literally all this does, which is our light, is just slot over the top, click into place, he says, get it straight, click into place and that's it. That's the light on the wall, nice and neat. I also like the fact that there is a little ball joint on here. So if we loosen this off, this gives us the ability to move this wherever we want to really, without an angle bracket, so left, right, whatever you want to do, and then just tighten it up when it's in place. I'll get this up on the wall now, and then we'll pop back when it's finished. And that's the finished product. So hence the box, all white go up in the back of there, down to our light there. So I've got it tilted. This one's fairly straight, but obviously if you were going on corners and things, you could angle it wherever you want. So that's that, one down, one to go. I'm not gonna get this one on camera because I wanna get it done as fast as I can because it's going to rain. As you all know, outside jobs, for me, it rains. So get this one up now and then we'll move inside onto the board change. Well, that took a lot longer than I thought, but we're there. So I'll show you this last one that I've done and then we will actually get inside. So it goes on to there and it just goes right the way down to that other joint box. Right, here is the board that we're changing. So supplied to this board is fed from time switch, which is there. And it's also fed, that's fed from DB2 circuit 21. So we'll go and find that, isolate this, and then we can start working. As you can see, it is mounted off the wall. And I think it's just hanging off these straight into the trunking up there. Trunking's loose, but um, yeah. So see what we can do with that. Now, before I get started on this, let me tell you about today's sponsor of the video, which is Tradify. I did that, thought I might put a little banner or something. Basically, if you don't know what Tradify is, it is our business management software that we use day to day to run our business. So we've got our customer databases on there. We can also do our quoting on there, which can then be accepted via the app. You'll get notified on the app. When the job's completed, you can send the invoice, just convert it straight into an invoice, get it sent over. You can also take payment through there, which is run through Stripe. There is charges on that, but you can choose whether to pass the charges onto the customer or whether you pay the charges yourself. So there's that. There's also scheduling. So what you can do, you can run your whole diary through the app. You can book your jobs in, which will notify the customer. They'll obviously accept the date. It's all booked in. You've got subcontractors you can run through there. You've got, if you've got people working for you, they can log into the app there and it'll tell them where to go, what they're doing. And yeah, it's awesome. It can also do the timesheets from them as well, for, from your subcontractors or from your employees. It can do all that. Get it sent over. It's all in one app. It's awesome. 
Now Tradify has given us a link which I'll leave in the description of this video. Give that a click, it gives you a free 14 day free trial. You don't need your card, you don't need anything like that. You can literally just try it out for 14 days, see what you think. We love it, we know a lot of other people love it, so check it out. If you do like it, use code JLC30, which will then give you 30% off your first three months. Right, I'm gonna get the stuff out of the van. There's been a change of plan. So, if I jump up here, hopefully you can see, there is literally one circuit going in there. Now, this comes out and goes into this flex, which I've put in, which goes to a photo cell to then do these lights, basically. So, we've got our feed out, which is our brown, We've then got a feed back in, which is our black, which feeds off to the other lighting circuits that were in here originally. And they are outside bulkhead lights facing playing field and outside bulkhead lights by staff entrance, which all in all is nothing. It's about two bulkhead lights at the front and then it's, I think the floor flood, four floodlights I've just been messing with, which is next to nothing. So I think for the sake of this, I'm just going to fit an RCD spur in because there's no need having a full fuse board up there. Cost of the fuse board, everything like that. They're not going to come off here for anything else. So what's the point? One circuit, which is a 5 amp circuit. Never had problems with it. I'm just going to fit an RCD spur. Which I haven't got. So, basically... I've wired two outside lights for this video. What am I doing? So for some reason, instead of a wall you're here job. It's on me. It's wall you're passing. I've come to help my mate, put the ladder. So that's all I'm good for. And for some reason it's tracking him. So you're going up the ladder now. <laughs> so as you can see, he's done one of them jobs where you have to grind the whole of the house off. Grind all the mortar out and now he's putting it in. And I'm little ladder. Oh, I nearly swore then. Little ladder boy. He's just chucking it all on me, which is absolutely sound. Anyway, cut back to when we're done. Look at this cool thing. You like scoop the mortar in and then it's like a little cake. What would you call him? Cake? What's it called? Um, I mean, I know. Anyway, like a cake batter thing. Oh, they're cool. And then you just like inject it in and then smooth it down. How awesome is that? So he's done the whole front of the house. A legend. Welcome back to JRC Landscaping. It was a piping bag. That's what I was thinking of. This is a piping gun. <laughs> Look at me. What do I have to do? Just hold it like this. What you do want you to mean? keep like that in there yeah. and let it come out this side. Why does it not come in? It will. <gasps> no, that's what I was saying. Like this. Left. Hold it like this. Twist this. And just keep that bit in. Okay. See? Every day's a school day, kids. If anyone wants their house repointing, don't ring me. Alright. So like I said, just apologies for the end of this video. I was meant to be doing a board change, but you've seen them all before anyway. Look at this patio. I've helped on this. Nice, isn't it? That's Mike, by the way, from Limitless. Follow him on Instagram. I'll put his Instagram here. Let him know that you've seen him on here. That's it, really. He'll be in a couple of videos coming up as well because I'm having some work done at my house, which I'm going to be recording. So anyway, thank you for watching. Apologies again. Big up yourselves. Leave a little comment. Let us know what you think. Leave a like. And also, you're probably not going to after this video, but do consider subscribing. You would become a legend. Anyway, see you later. Ta-ra. Yeah.